Hello there, everyone. This is Quiver C. Welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last time we returned to the Glitz Pit to reclaim our title of champion. And now we have a very easy way to make very fast money, honestly, by beating Rockhawk over and over again. Something to keep in mind if I ever feel the need to. But now it's about time for us to head off and search for the next crystal star. That being said, before I do, uh, it has been a few days since my last recording. And since we are about to be leaving town, after doing some stuff around town, because there's still some stuff we gotta do before we can move on, let's check the lottery board. I also think I just got email as soon as I hit this button. Happy lucky lottery, what do we got? Nothing. Oh, not a lucky day. But I still get a mushroom. Accept my challenge. Hello, Mario. This is Mush, Jolene's younger brother and first champion of the Glitz Pit. Remember me? Thanks for helping me out recently. Still not sure what happened, but I do know that if you and my big sis hadn't saved me, well, I get chills just thinking about it. Anyway, I was wondering if you heard about my big comeback. I've been pushing all my limits with the most punishing training regimen of my entire career. Finally feeling and seeing the results. So it's time to Prince Mush to make a grand return to the ring. I want you to witness the fruits of my labor, Mario. I asked my sis for help and she arranged a special exhibition match just for two of us. New champ versus original champ. If you accept my challenge, I'll be waiting for you in the Glitz Pit. Prepare for a Prince Mush performance like you've never seen before. I'm actually not sure that you have seen a battle before, so just believe me when I say I was good. Don't leave me waiting, Great Gonzalez. From Prince Mush. So yeah. There are apparently two new bosses in the remake, specifically. And Prince Mush is one of them. I should mention, I have unfortunately been spoiled to the presence of both. Like, I knew Prince Mush was a thing about like halfway through, um, I think it was like halfway through Bodley Woods or something that I found out about him. Or, oh wait, no, it wasn't through Bodley Woods. It was, um, when I was doing the Pit of 100 Trials and, and looking for stuff through editing. That's when it was, because the other boss is related to that. But long story short, uh, I think we're taking a detour. Because <laughs> I did not realize that we could do Prince Mush now, and I am intrigued. So I guess Keel Hall Key will have to wait a little longer. Although, who knows? Depending on how long this takes, we might still be able to get some of the legwork done on that afterwards. But, uh, for now, let's see what the old champ has in store for us. So he said it's a special exhibition match, which means we're probably going to have to use the terminal to request it, just like any other match. Kind of surprised he doesn't have a poster up in the lobby. You'd think he would. Although, I guess he hasn't made his big comeback yet. This is just, like, him doing a special event. Well, well, well. Look who it is. Mario, my friend. You came. Thanks to you, I've been able to thrill my fans once again as Prince Mush. I'd love to show you my appreciation by fighting you. If you're up for it, just enter my exhibition match. You better believe we will. Straight to our champion's room. He hasn't taken that from us. I'm a little nervous. I want exhibition. Prince Mush. Even above Rockhaw. Yes, I would like an exhibition match against Prince Mush. Wait for a guard to come. <laughs> Mr. Champion, sir, it's time for your match. Please come this way. With pleasure. What it is that triggered this being available? Hmm. It's time for today's main event, and we're in for a beaut of a brawl. Here before your eyes, our newest champ, the Great Gonzalez, will battle the very first champion, Prince Mush. Once all is said and done, which of these two beloved fighters will be left standing in the arena? Let's get our star gladiators out here. 
First, making his triumphant return to the Glitz Pit, it's the Great Gonzalez! You rock, man! Gonzalez! He's back! You the man! Uh, they are so happy. This is getting a lot of fanfare. What an entrance! The crowd is going wild for Gonzalez, our third champion! And standing opposite our newest champion is the first ever fighter to bear the title. That's right, folks! Back in action and better than ever! Ready for a royal return to the ring! Give it up for Prince Mush! Prince Mush! We made you! Don't lose to Gonzalez! Here he comes! The face of a man who's ready to kill us. Two champions face to face at last! The excitement among the crowd has reached a new peak! It's time to ring the starting bell and begin a match that will echo through the halls of the Glitz Pit for eternity! Get ready to brawl! Sorry about that, my voice is starting to kind of break. <laughs> Ooh, he's got a custom battle theme too. Okay, Mario, let's give this match everything we've got. Oh, he's, he's in a fighting stance. All right, well, first things first, I need to know what we're dealing with. Prince Smush, tell us about him, because I have no idea what to expect. That's Prince Mush, the original champion of the Glitz Pit. He's finally making his come. <coughs> Ex <laughs> Sorry, I just noticed those numbers in the bottom right. Max HP 96, attack 6, defense 6. you never guess he was kept away from fighting for such a long time. He's still a powerhouse. He's known for being clean fighters. He'll come straight at you without relying on any dirty tricks. He's also known to switch between different styles. Just keep an eye on his stance. When he changes it up, we'll have to think fast and come up with a good attack method. And if you're not sure you'll come out on top, try to rely on super guards. Also, I've heard he's not a fan of cake. What's the story there, hmm? Some cake-based trauma in the past? <laughs> Whatever. If you can manage to beat this guy, then you'll become the true unrivaled champion. I'm gonna guess that he's not a fan of cake because Rock Hawk did the um, the cake trick on him. Anyhow, uh, yeah, I was okay. So I I did say at the start of this that there are two new super bosses. Emphasis on the word super. So I'm not surprised that he is strong, but <laughs> maybe I just underestimated it. I, I, I th this is why I'm surprised that we can fight him now because I had a feeling he was gonna be very strong. Okay, well. Uh, I'm gonna say right now, if we don't beat him and, like, don't even get close... Uh oh I have an attack here. I'm probably not gonna try again right away. Uh oh I just now also realized something else very bad. Uh, there we go. Which makes me very glad that I got the plus four defense, because, um... I forgot I still got double pain on. <laughs> this is not a fight for that. Prince Mush's stance has changed. Oh, he's jumpy now. All right, what are you gonna do? Okay, he pauses and then does a real nasty quick punch. All right, well. Bonk, bonk. Yeah, that did nothing. We're gonna need someone else out besides Goombella, but I'm gonna keep her out right now because she's got the defense. Uh, let's see if I can confuse you. I'm expecting I can't, but I gotta try. What? What? I think in that form. Oh, you know what? I think I might already understand how you're gonna operate. If I'm right, this is going to miss. Yup. Okay. So when he's shaying like that, I can't jump on him. When he's jumping, I can't hammer him. That's how it works. I am picking up what you're putting down. Wait, what, what? Wait, hold on, he just, did, did he just steal flower points from me? All right, all right, all right, hold on. Let's, uh, do I wanna try Vivian or do I wanna just bring this mouse? Maybe, maybe hmm, I don't know who to break. Let's see if I can burn him with Vivian. I mean, it, it, it can't hurt to try, right? Yeah, 
Oblivion. <laughs> okay, well, I think I just need to go for raw damage. I mean, the bingo really didn't matter in this case. Ah, I messed up. All right, well, you know what? If um, if I'm gonna go for raw damage, Miss Mouse, I'm gonna bring you in. But first things first, uh, I got some more star power. We're gonna power lift. Boost. Go. I only got plus threes on that, unfortunately. Would have liked to have gotten one plus four, but eh, beggars can't be choosers. All right, Miss Mouse. Let's do it. Smack him. Smack, smack, smackity smack. Your defense means nothing to the mouse. Uh oh, okay, so now you're, uh. <sighs> I'm stealing my. Okay, you're gonna dodge me. Do I wanna try... I'm gonna try a soft stomp. Yeah. Didn't work. Okay, I'm just gonna stop trying status ailments right now. You're gonna dodge Miss Mouse if I attack. Hmm. I don't wanna use that... Yeah, I don't wanna, have, like waste any effects. Even just a couple of FP. Otherwise, I would totally use the... I think, you know what? Juice. Juice Mario! Juice for Mario! Oh, yeah! I think for that attack, I just need to, to try that. Okay. Power time! Power jump! Power bounce! Power! Power! Okay, well, he just got cleansed of the status ailments he doesn't have. All right, uh, Miss Mouse, because you can't really do much. Wave to the crowd. Sorry, wink to the crowd. Ha ha. Okay. Uh, Miss Mouse, I'm actually gonna put. I'm gonna put you away for a moment. Because right now, I can't really do much to hurt Parents Mush. So we're going to just take the time to appeal. Honestly, I should probably be using Charge as well. But I'm going to just appeal for the moment. I want to get I want to get another power lift. OK, he's he's back to the side swipe. No FP vampirism for you! Okay. I think I'm going to go on ahead and do a charge on this mouse. Oh, he's not moving. I just don't notice, he's not moving. Is that what happens when I super guard him? He gets, not, he gets thrown off balance? I think that's what happened. All right. I'm gonna try for a bit of a power play here. Oh, no, no, okay. He's supercharging. You know what? I will see your supercharge in turn. And I'm going to assume you seem to be favoring targeting the front. I'll take it. Thank you. Give. Thank you. You seem to favor targeting the front, as I was saying. I'ma give Ms. Mouse a boo sheet. Haha. -ha. Okay, and it only lasted for one turn. Good. It's like our charge. Anyways, keep charging. You are at plus six. And now, a 
Spiel! We're gonna charge again next turn, and then power lift. And then Miss Mr. Oh wait, no we're oh, okay. He's He's hopping mad. Alright, well in that case, we're just gonna keep charging. I think I actually wanna hold off on the power lift then. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna keep appealing for the moment because I don't want him to dodge Miss Mouse. I want him to be in his side swipe stance. Darn it. So I'm just gonna take advantage of um, this and keep charging. And keep appealing because why not at this point, right? If I had to super guard any attack, I'm glad it was that one. Yeah, we get that star power. Or flower power. Oh, I just realized he's out of stance because of that. I should I should have I should have attacked, but oh well. Anyways, now is the time for a power lift. Let's hope that he doesn't go back into his jumpy stance. I do kind of like his little stance change mechanic. Especially because it doesn't really change how he attacks. It's entirely a defensive thing. Oh, baby. We got plus four attack there. Miss Mouse is going to hit like a semi-truck. Oh, this is gonna... Wham, wham, slam! 19 damage! Woo, that feels good! All right. Mario, your turn. Eight more damage on top! Ouch. Okay. Gonna just keep attacking for now. Style up. And I can't really do much with my one star power, so I guess I'll just do a normal hammer. I honestly, I'm tempted to use an item this turn, but I think taking advantage of the power boost is more important. Okay, he's powering up. Oh, Fighting Spirit is now burning. What? Yucky! Screw you! I don't know what that stance means, and I'm afraid. I am very afraid of what that stance means. All right. I am going to do a turn to science this. Flurry, I want you to attack Prince Mush. I know it's not gonna hurt him. But I've got this bad feeling that that stance, it looks like he is really getting ready to fight. I think he might be in a counter stance. Okay, no, Flurry did not take damage, so that's okay. Well, because I got Flurry here to kind of guard, I'm gonna appeal this turn. seen okay <laughs> I don't know how you uh, would survive that if you fail the wait what is he Huh? 
wait. Oh, no. I think I know what it is. Okay, well, we just lost. But I think I know what the gimmick there is. I think he is in that stance, and you can't beat him until you super guard. We got ourselves a winner! Prince Mush! Thank you for the match. Okay. Here's your fight money of one coin, Mr. Gonzalez. Wow. Thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Okay. So, yeah, I think I know what you need to do to beat him there. I think the plan is you have to super guard to break his stance. Otherwise, he is invincible. At least, maybe. I don't know. You might be able to hurt him with defense piercing moves. Actually, no, you can't because that was Miss Mouse. That was Miss Mouse. Never mind. So, no. Defense piercing moves wouldn't work because Miss Mouse didn't work. I'm going to say I am fully capable of beating him right now. But I don't think it'll be a very... I, I don't know. I want to kind of wait a little bit. Stand ready for match with you anytime. I'm not ready to surrender my title to you just yet. To be fair, you kind of kicked Mario's can there. <sighs> All right. So, yeah. We'll, we'll get back to Prince Mush another day. I want to get a little bit stronger and remember to not be in double pain mode. Because <laughs> that definitely didn't help. Although, to be fair, actually, it didn't really make a difference there. He would have one-shot me regardless. That attack did 40 damage per hit. That means it dealt 20 damage per hit. Even without double pain, Mario would have taken like 80 damage on a failed guard. You know what might actually be a very helpful badge for that? Simplifier. Since that makes the timing of um, action commands easier. Something to keep in mind when I challenge him for a rematch. Anyways, a rematch with Prince Mush is going to wait because, well, we got stuff we can do to get moving towards Keelhaul Key. And I think I want to do that. So if we remember what Professor Frankly said, he said that the salts down by the harbor would probably be a good place to look. And I agree. Let's see if there's any, uh, any folks who might have a clue on what to do down here. Also, if you'll notice, our little investment friend, uh, he's skedaddled. Let's see if his investment works out later. K kill Hall Key? You mean the island where the treasure order Cortez, the Pirate King's hidden? So you want treasure, eh? Boy, keep an eye out or the Pirate Curse will get ya. Okay, you're not really helpful. What about you, big boy? No matter how much I work, love never gets any easier for me. Know what I mean? There's gotta be a way to just go poof and get rich. You know, poof. Uh, the, mm, not really. Oi, you with the mustache. What's with the stink guy, eh? You got something to say? Right then, ask me anything. I'm not an encyclopedia, I am. Or oh, I can answer anything. Oh. Kill Hulky. Ah, Kill Hulky. Listen, mate. Don't ask me about that place. I got no need for a custom pirate king. And we're hearing some rumors of a pirate's curse. And there is also a rather luxurious vessel here in the harbor. But Mario, unfortunately, does not have the power to come on the ship. All right. Well, the bombs are no help. What about the toads? See that ship dock there? She belongs to Flavio, the merchant trader. He don't sail too often, though. Mostly he sings out of Padley's joint, the inn by the square. Ah, yes. Flavio, the merchant. We've seen him. We've spoken to him. He likes to sing to his skull forever. Well, he's got a boat, and we need a boat, so uh, he seems like a logical choice of someone to talk to, wouldn't you say? See if we can interrupt him from his uh, musical musings. Captain, Captain Sir! <laughs> Monetary wealth gives me freedom, yes. And freedom gives me wealth of spirit. And yet, why is it that a man whose life is unchained must always long for yet more, huh? What is missing from my life? This tears at my very insides. I must know. 
What do I lack? Romance, definitely. I'd say emotions, probably thrills, or money, maybe? Well, this guy is obviously very affluent. I don't think it's money. And he is very smiley and sing-songy. He's, he's an emotional man. He does seem like a problem romantic, but I would say probably thrills. I think that is what you lack, good sir. Thrills, you say? Uh, I suppose one does need some thrills every now and then. There is nothing like the feeling of being alone on a mountain, shivering to death. Ah, no! Foolish Flavio, not chills, you silly man. What I need are thrills! Ah, wait, hold the horses. That is it. Now that I am thinking of it, I once heard of the treasure of Cortez, the pirate king. Yes! That is the answer! Oh, such happiness for me! A hunt for pirate treasure! Why, that just shrieks of romance and thrills and emotion and even money! Yep, anything that you said would have convinced him for those reasons. <laughs> Do you not know the tale? The Pirate King's treasure hidden on Keel Hall Key? Ah, well, tales say that the Pirate King Cortez hid his pirate hoard of pirate booty there. For years, treasure hunters and ruffians have gone there in search of the loot. But not a single one of them has ever returned. Ooh, the horror makes my back tingle. People here whisper that the ghost of Cortez attacks all who seek his treasure. Phew! It is because of those very rumors that people no longer go to Keel Hall Key. But that will not stop Flavio! That treasure is there, yes, and I'm going to prove it! For I am Flavio, trader extraordinaire, millionaire, sailor of the seven seas. What is that you're saying? Talk of legendary treasure here beneath Rogue Port? Why talk such craziness? There isn't anything like that in this dull armpit of a town. You cannot be believing each stupid rumor about treasure some street urchin spews out. No, 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 no! Ah, now what madness comes bursting from your mouth? You have a treasure map! Well, hand it over! Rather, I mean, show me. Okay. You are having a joke for me. This map leads straight to Keel Hall Key! You swine! You mean to steal my treasure out from under me, you awful, awful man! No, no. Well, now I am confused. You are looking for things known as the Crystal Stars. But now that I am thinking, a star-shaped stone was said to be in Cortez's hoard. Perhaps I could sell it for a staggering amount of cash, yes? That would be... Ah! Stop such thoughts, Flavio! What you need is romance, thrills, and emotion! I cannot ignore what this business before me suggests. This must be fate at work! Flavio shall go with you to Keel Hall Key. Of course, the Crystal Star is yours, yes, but the rest of the treasure is mine. Mario finds these terms acceptable. Huh? You must repeat that. Flavio's ears are plugged. You have no ship. <laughs> you unfortunate foolish man! Do you not know who I am? I will have a ship ready in no time, and it will be massive and glorious! Splendid, splendid, splendid! Let us begin preparations immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as our intrepid leader, yes, and you will be captain! Ah, danger and adventures tickle my nostrils! Come to the harbor right away! For the record, I'm actually having a very hard time landing on a voice with him, and it's primarily because be the name specifically, I know is of like a Portuguese origin, so I imagine him to have a Portuguese accent, and I am not good at doing that kind of voice. I'm trying, but I'm struggling with this one. <laughs> All right, well, let's go see what this eccentric merchant will do for us. <laughs> oh, yes! I'm going to be filthy rich. I can't wait to leave port. I wasn't trying to talk to you. Hello. You look... oddly familiar. They call that guy Four Eyes. He's one of the sailors coming with us to Keel Hall Key. I totally feel like I've seen him somewhere before, though. Eh, maybe I'm just losing it. Well, let's have a word with uh, Four Eyes. Uh... Pleased to meet your acquaintance. 
<laughs> Mario's on to you. Mario is on to you. All right, Flavio, let's get this ship sailing. <laughs> ah, yes, so it is you, huh? Well, sadly, a slight problem seems to have popped up. Ah, but feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. She is a fine vessel, no? She is the SS Flavion, the queen of the countless ships of my personal fleet. The raw majesty of her hull, the pomp and circumstance, none can compare to her. Ah, behold the elegant curve of her prow. She cuts to the very soul, don't you agree? But she is not just a beauty, she is a savage beast on the water, tops among sailboats. But above all, I tell you, this proud ship can... Uh, uh, yes, did you speak? Uh, yes, 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 of course, the problem that has sprung up. I could have forgotten about it. The SS Flavion, she bewitches me. Yes, well, here's the other issue. We have no navigator. He ran off. The dog. The navigator, of course, is the highest ranked helmsman. They steer ships, you know. Now, here's the real problem. The waters around Keelhole Key are deathly dangerous. We need an absurdly skilled helmsman for a navigator. It's a, uh, how do you say, a pickle. Oi, Flavio! Are you talking there, sir? You don't mind me saying I'm out of a solution. Do not tease me, Popatch. You can solve our problem and spit it out already. Yes, uh, sir, I have a talk of a fa- No, a legendary sailor living in Ropeport. I think it's called uh, Admiral Barbary. Salty old sea dog, by all accounts. But he said to have the helmsman's touch, sir. He can make any ship bow to his will. Thing is, there ain't a soul what's seen him on the season late. Boss a boom! Problem solved! Let us scout out this bobbery fellow and get him on board! Uh, as is customary, my captain will handle all negotiations. That would be you, Mario. That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? Aye, aye, sir! Aye, aye! It seems they're in agreement. Sure thing! Then it is decided. You must find this bobbery and bring him here. Our fortune sails with you. Well, as fate would have it, that is not who I meant to switch to. Sorry, Flurry, I wanted to put a bow. As fate would have it, we have actually already met Admiral Bobbery. Remember that uh, crusty old bob -omb whose house we landed into? That'd be him. So, if I remember right, he is over on the eastern side of Rogue Bolt. In this house right cha. Howdy, howdy. Seek Admiral Bobbery. Never heard of the jet. Take a search elsewhere. I am afraid I don't believe you, sir. And he's saying the same stuff. Okay. I, I remember that there's a bit of a thing to get him to join you, but I don't remember what to do. I don't know. Maybe I should talk to Flavio again. Actually, maybe Paw Patch. Because he's the one who knows Bobbery. Or knows about him. He was the one who brought it up. Yeah, let's talk to you. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm going to be filthy. Oh, uh, you're just floating. You found someone who matches Bobbery's description, but claims he is not him. Strange. I would ask someone who is knowledgeable in the neighborhood about this. Someone knowledgeable, huh? Well, the most knowledgeable person we know in the area is definitely Frankly, so I guess I'll start there. Somehow, though, I don't think that's the right answer. Like, I don't remember having to go see Frankly. Like, I remember that you have to talk to Flavio, get him to the ship, and then convince Bobbery, but I do not remember how to convince the man. Uh. Help? Bobbery? I don't see Longleaf's just the right of my house in the face of the front. They say he was great and important sailor long ago. <sighs> Goombella, do you have any ideas? Bobbery is supposed to just the right of Professor Franklin's house. Let's go meet him. <sighs> what am I supposed to do? Shoot. Like, you're not going to change your tune, are you? No. Oh, he is. 
I have the faintest idea what you're talking about. Have you please? Don't play dumb with us. We were already told that you were Admiral Bobbery. <sighs> what poppycock? Tell me, what would you want me to be if I were this trap? Uh, huh. You say your ship needs a navigator, and you want me to do the job, huh? So sorry, but you have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the sea nevermore. But, look, we're begging you here. You totally have to. You're the only one who can guide our ship to Keelhaul Key. This is serious stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, dear fellows. But when I say no, what I mean is no. Well, I see. Darn. What do I do, Mario? That guy doesn't seem too stoked to come with us. Hmm. Know what I wonder, though? Why is he all weird enough to see anyway? We gotta find someone who knows the guy and find out what his malfunction is. Well, let's start with Frankly, because he is here and he does know about Bobbery. <laughs> Admiral Bobbery won't go to sea? That's a setback. Hmm. I'm not mad myself, so I don't know what to tell you, unfortunately. But I'm willing to bet that Podley knows a thing or two. Oh, right! Right, now I remember. It's the, it's, it's the barman. Okay, it's coming back to me now, and exactly like how this plays out. All right. Hey, Podley, you got the dirt on Bobbery? <laughs> you say Bobbery won't go to sea, huh? Well, can't say that surprised me. <laughs> Real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bobbery back on the water? Is <laughs> <laughs> that it, you see? You want to mount an expedition to Keel Hall Key. Enough seas out there. Most sailors will meet their ends. Not old Bobbery, though. The fact of the matter is, Admiral Bobbery's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. Probably end up crying, but I'll tell you if you really want me to. Please do. I can take it. In that case, get ready. Bobbery's tale of woe goes something like this. Bobbery was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now, Aubrey was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. But Scarlet never complained, though, and always awaited faithfully for Aubrey's return. And Aubrey, his eye never drifted. He loved only Scarlet, truly and deep. So they lived and found happiness where they could. All was good for a time. But not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. The virus, the passing cold, no one knew. But it soon turned serious. Bobbery, at sea on a long, lonely voyage, knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Bobbery, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts. They tormented him always, haunting his sleep. He's never gone out to sea since. Mm. That's the saddest tale I've ever heard in my life. No wonder. Well, you can see Goombella's sad eyes just behind the counter. You all know his tale now, so tell me. You still wanted to return to sea? Unfortunately, we have no choice. Very well, I understand. If you're that determined, then I'll give you this. An old letter. The letter Scarlet wrote to Bobbery just before she departed. On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to this play, and if my love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him so he may hear my voice. It was her last request. But when I saw Bobbery in misery, misery, trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. I've regretted it ever since. Please, take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bobbery. Thanks, Podley. And don't beat yourself up over this. We'll deliver the letter. Come on, Mario. That is such a really sad story, good lord. 
tale of love, separation, and departure, ending in a very sorry case of survivor's guilt. It's one of the worst things that can happen. Let's help the man move on. I think he needs it. What? Oh, by Blobberton's beard, not you again. No matter how many times I you entreat me, my stance is firm. Now away with you! I want to know who Blabberton is. Have a letter. A pardon? A letter? You say? For me? <laughs> what? Scarlet? This is Scarlet's handwriting! Scarlet, my love. My love, if you're reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you were at sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my life was short, it gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg that you remember that time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you are one with me. Do not lose both of your life's loves. Time. Like love is a tie. You are one with the sea, as you were one with me. Uh, a thousand pardons, but may I have a moment alone, please? Miss Love, I was happy, my sweet, sweet Scarlet. I love you still. You were looking for a navigator, I believe. Bound for Keelhaw Key. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you think an old sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's shove off. Admiral Bobbery! Awesome! The ship's in the harbor, hmm? I must inspect it before we leave. I shall meet you there. You know, I've never really been the romantic type. Wow. I'm just gonna grab this real quick. I've never really been the romantic type. And I don't think I ever will give it a few points, but that story definitely always does get me. It, I don't know. There's, there's some, there's just something about it. Anyway, I think that is gonna do it for now. Next time on Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door, we will regroup with Flavio and Admiral Bobbery and set sail for Keelhaul Key. Until then, thank you so much for watching.